we met in um, 2008 um, on MySpace. The first, the very first thing I noticed about him, other than the fact that he is a total babe, um, was his name on MySpace was Matthew of 1979, and mine on MySpace was Delilah of 1986, and that was totally like that before we ever met each other. So I always thought that was kind of cool. And as we started to kind of talk and get to know each other, I started to realize that he was very sweet. Um, and he was very loving and a great sense of humor. He is, does the, the funniest impressions and not a lot of people get to see that. My favorite is his Bob Dylan. I think it was like a year later after we started talking online, like I should come out and visit. So I ended up buying a plane ticket, go out there to visit her. I remember she brought this sign that says, welcome to Louisville. Kind of cool because I never had anyone like make the time to like do something special to welcome me to like visit a city or, or state, you know. First real date um, was the day when I first got there. Like when we were at this art gallery, we were just like hanging out, just being goofy and just enjoying the day and stuff. And then uh, I just knew like the more I got to hanging out with her, like I can really truly like see myself being with her the rest of my life. You know, I even remember some of our phone calls, like I told her like if you know, you're the first girl I ever met that is like almost like a female version of me and I, I just as cliche as this sounds, it's almost like he was the male version of me and I was the female version of him. We had so much in common, so many of the same bands and music, you know, um, and art and just um, it's actually really funny. My cell phone bill for like the first eight months of our building friendship was ridiculous because we would spend eight hours a day talking on the phone. Um, and that was after we'd spent so many hours talking on, on, uh, on the internet. The first time Matt actually like asked me to be his girlfriend, um, we did it really traditional. He came to my work and it was, he stood in the doorway and he was like, so I like you. I'm not even kidding. I'm complete quoting. He's like, I like you. Will you be my sweet lady friend? <laughs> and of course I'm like, what was that? Can, can, what was that? And he's like, you repeat it. Can I, do you want to be my sweet lady friend? And I was like, yes, <laughs> which I think that is the sweetest, awesome, best, coolest way to ask someone to be their girlfriend or be your girlfriend. You now like the law was like, like the first girl I ever met that actually just, you know, I could call my buddy, you know, and just like, it, it just developed from that, you know, just being someone that you can really trust and believe in and not just like someone like you're just trying to be a phony to, to impress, like, because I want someone that was real and love God and have fun things, but even when you have you know, a frustrating day with someone, you can still love them unconditionally. And like, those are the things that me and Delal always do. Um, the church that we were going to here in Indiana um, had a Friday night service once a month called Crave. And it was a worship service. And it was where people, you would just get together um, and you would worship. There was no agenda. And I'm sitting down in a chair and I'm praying and I just, I just look over. And I see Matt, and Matt has his hand clasped to his chest, and his eyes are closed so tight, and he's just, he's just pouring out to the Lord. He is, he is just, he's, <laughs> he's naked before the Lord. He is just giving it all to the, uh, to the Lord. Um, and it was one of the most beautiful things. I wish I had a camera at the time to take a photo of it. Um, but I had, I had never really seen a man express that type of love, let alone that type of love to the Lord. And I was like, wow, Lord, I, I, I want that. Like, I, I want that in my life. I want, um, I want a man that seeks after you so much that he doesn't care, that he looks that vulnerable in front of people. Me and Delilah are together. It's just like, I could trust that she's got my back. She's always encouraging and loving and it's just like I know deep in my heart you know Delilah is the one because she gives me peace and just uh, balance out my crazy fearful life all the time. And so I don't really know if there was one specific time where God said this is who I have for you. I really think that it was 
because I love you and because I'm trying to show you that I love you, he is a gift that I've given you. Matthew has just always been a constant. He's, he's never stopped loving me. He's never stopped pursuing me. You know, he's, he's always telling me, I'm not your dad, Delilah. I'm not, you know, the past man in your life. And so Matthew has really forced me to realize that I'm worthy of authentic love. And I really think that's something that the Lord has placed him in my life for. I know I don't say this much, but I do love you. And I hope I can lead you and protect you and provide you like how God wants me to, to be an example of that. And the more I see you and seeing what a godly woman you are, I see Christ in you and that makes me want to fall in love with you more each and every day. It's like so cool how God makes me see Christ in you each and every day. Even though the days that you feel not attractive or days that you just want to be left alone, like God wants me to like pour his love on you and, and, and be that person to just pray for you and, and be encouraging and, and, and lift you some of the bears in your life, you know, and uh, someday we'll love to have awesome children, you know, that, and I know you'll be a godly woman and a mother and a musician or just whatever the things that God wants to promise you. He just wants you to, to experience his love. Um, I know that some things like you struggle with, but, you know, God wants me to be that mantle the keep pushing you and everything and um, I just hope I can step up the plate in areas that I'm weak at that you know I'm strong because I know you pray for me daily and everything and um, I can't wait for the day even though it seemed like it's m months away I wish it sometimes could be sooner so that we can get on our life but I just know that you're so much more than what you see yourself, you know? And you are the apple of God's eye, and you are my missing rib. <sighs> Matthew, I, I'm so thankful for you, and I know that um, you hear that a lot from me, and usually your response is, you're welcome. <laughs> um, but I am, I'm really thankful for you. I never thought that someone like you would come into my life you know, for whatever reason, whether I, I didn't think that I deserved you or that I was worthy of it or that I would ever meet someone like you, I don't know, whatever the reason is. You are a constant in my life. You are faithful in so many levels and I'm so thankful for you. You love me past my insecurities. You love me past my craziness, which sometimes I get. Um, you have this way of calming me down, of making me stop and say, okay, wait a minute. The Lord is bigger than whatever it is that I'm going through. I love all of you, and thank you for loving me.